Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint a floral theme on this rock. It's a Mexican beach pebble. I will be using moon yellow, licorice, fresh foliage, wicker white, thicket, and classic green, and eggplant. All of these are folk art paints, a mixture of enamels and multi-surface. The brushes I'm using today are 2A Magic Flat Brushes. I have a number 2 and a number 4. I will be using a Deerfoot Stippler. It's a number 4. And then my dotting stylus. You can use anything to make dots with. You don't have to use anything specific for that. Alright, I have my, my paint out on my plate. I am going to begin by double loading my number 4 A Magic Brush with the wicker white and the eggplant. Alright, so I just typically dip one side into the one color, one side into the other color, and then do my blending strokes. And you want to make sure you have you know, quite a bit of paint in, not, not overly filled, but uh, enough to really get the brush moving and you know, be, have good coverage. Normally I say three quarters of the bristles should be covered with paint. I've already cleaned off my rock and I'm ready to paint. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to just do a, just a real simple, real, 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 real simple design. If you're new to my channel, you'll know that I do like to create simple designs so that anybody can paint them even if you just want to use the design as an inspiration that's fine too and I also want to say when you're painting if you feel like you didn't get good coverage feel free to go over it again in order to get the coverage that you desire and I apologize my air conditioning is getting ready to come on again Unfortunately, I do my videos in my utility room, and I have to deal with this every time I do a video. Now with this, I'm doing a set of three open, and then I'm going to do four buds. I personally like to work with odd numbers. That's me. If you don't, you know, if it doesn't matter to you, then work with whatever number you want. And you can do four or five petals. Up to you. Alright, so I have that done. If you feel like you've gotten too much paint on your brush, I know sometimes it can really get jammed up there. Just feel free to go ahead and, and actually on this you can do a wiggle stroke if you want. Kind of didn't do that at first, but you can do it this way or you can just do just a plain stroke. But on that I'm going to just do kind of a little wiggle there to make my bud. And do it again over here. My bud. And then I'm going to come over here and add a couple more. And I hope you're seeing this okay. I'm sorry too, I am left-handed. And sometimes when I do a stroke a certain direction, you might have to do it the opposite direction if you're right-handed. So for instance, if I go from right to left, for you, the natural feeling might be going from left to right. And that's okay. Or you can train yourself to do what I'm doing. Either way, it's fine. Whatever you're comfortable with and whatever allows you to be successful, that's the main thing. Alright, so I have those painted in. Next thing I'm going to do is pick up my number two. 
a magic brush and I'm going to start off by doing the classic green, the fresh foliage. I am going to do a little bit of the moon yellow. And I'm just going to keep dealing with my brush, loading it with these color combinations. I will stick it into the thicket. And I'm just mixing them up. Alright, so then on these, I'm going to, I like to do, go from the base of the flower up the side. Again, the base of the flower up the side. And all of your, your, uh, you know, your consistency as far as your your colors and all that can vary. They don't have to be identical and match for each flower. Or they can. You know, if you're really into making them all look the same, that's up to you. I'm going to turn around and go back and do the same thing over here. So I'm starting from the base, just kind of pulling it in and pulling it up. Come down here and do basically the same. Pull it up and then do that over here. Pull it up and then do that here and pull it up. All right, so then I'm just going to do quick little stems because I don't have a whole lot of space, and that's something you have to you know adjust for too when you're when you're doing. A design you're not always going to have a lot of space and that can vary from one side to the next you don't necessarily have to put your your center and the your focal point in the center and make it a little off center if you want and the stones are irregular in shape they're natural so they're not going to be perfect anyways but I'm going to go ahead and then just start adding in just some different leaves here. And you can pull them out like that if you want. I am a big leaf person, so if you're not, then you can do yours as sparsely as you want. Or could fill it in more. Up to you. Alright, we're going to go back over here. I guess I could pick this up a little bit. Now if you're somebody that's concerned about the light, light source and where it's coming from and how it's hitting, you can you know, adjust your design based on that. I'm not really concerned with that at this point. So, just so you know, I'm not really taking that into consideration. I am just putting in the, the petals wherever I feel like I want them. However they work, however they fit, is where they're going to go. Alright, so then I'm going to try to do just a few little wiggle leaves bigger leaves. And pull them down. Pull a little stem here if you want. You can do it with a darker one if you want. Up to you. And I'm going to turn and come over here. Maybe even turn and do this one with the dark on the outside at first. Get this a little bit darker right in there. And then put some light here. I kind of like to move it around a little bit so that they're not all dark on one side or light on the other side. They don't all look the same. I mean, it's a, it's a similar stroke, of course, but they're not identical because they're the colors are different. 
just fine. So I be careful I don't stick my finger in them. So I'm good at that too. Just do wiggle and pull. And then I'm going to come down here and just easily pull it through. And then come around here. And I think I'm going to go with the lighter over on the side here. And you can blend it in more if you don't like it to be so yellow. You can blend it in more if you want. But I kind of like the brightness of it. And then I can put a little stem through it. Alright, so so far we have this going on. And then I kind of like to kind of look, take a look back and see where I could put maybe a kind of like a little stem for some little fillers. Just ever so slightly. They don't have to be big, long, that kind of thing. Can just be very small. On this, I'm going to actually dip. My brush into the wicker white and whatever grains I've got going on here and then I am going to once again try not to get my fingers in it I'm going to then come over here and then just do some basic pull leaves and this is just kind of like a filler spray you know, where it's not anything elaborate. I can turn my brush, have more white on it so it shows up more, or I can vary it and have more green showing, or just add interest to make them different. Right? See how they just, just kind of fills it in so it's not just so plain. And it doesn't even have to be big or long or whatnot. And do it the same over here. And you can just do just on the chisel edge and then just do a pull real quick. Very simple, very easy. And see, they're not all identical. They're similar, but they're not all identical. But you can see them, right? I know I have another one over here. And know too, when you're doing wet on wet, you can actually, when you're going over the top of one, you can actually end up pulling in the color from what you've painted below. So now that's a possibility. And we're just going to go with it. Not a biggie. All right, so we have that going on. Next thing I'm gonna do is tap in my centers. And that's where the Deerfoot Stippler comes into play. I am going to do the front part. So it kind of slants. Uh, I'm calling that the front part and this the heel. I'm not sure what the correct terminology would be for that. But when I stick my brush into the paint, I just do both colors. And then I always tap it off onto my plate. So that I don't have too much going on. Because I don't want it to be too heavy because I kind of like to play with it a little bit to get it where I want it so it's easier to do less and then add more than it is to take it off and you don't have to have your centers all going in the same direction so that your flowers can actually be pointing a different direction if you were to do a floral arrangement, your flowers would not all be going perfectly in one, you know, one direction. Or you wouldn't want them to be, in all honesty. 
and I use this, these different stipplers all the time for my centers. I just love them. You can do other centers too. You can tap in, you can dot, you know, with that kind of thing. I just really like using these brushes. I'll be honest. I like, I really like these brushes. And if you notice that, anytime I have a center to dot, guess what I'm using? Now, I'm also going to go in and dip into the eggplant because I'm going to come around the base and just kind of tap it in a little bit. I got some color in there, which is fine, you know, because I'm going to actually tap some dots. So if that comes up higher, that's fine. You'll be able to see it better. If you think that you've got it on too heavy, you can actually... You know, like this one's a little heavier than I wanted. I can tap over it. Just kind of get it blended in there. And it's kind of nice to have that little bit of eggplant around the base there. I'll put a little bit more on here. Oh no, it's too heavy. So that's why I say when you don't dab it off, then you can get it on too heavily, but you can still work with it. thing of it is I am going to dot around this with black. So if you have it up a little bit higher into your flower center, it'll show up more. So I do want it up on, because on my, my sample I didn't do that, and it's kind of hard to see, but I like those. All right, next thing I'm going to do is take my my dotting tool, my stylus, and I'm going to dip into the black, it's licorice, and then I'm going to, I feel like I have a lot of paint on there, just do my real quick stipple, or st dots, I just want to have them um, just real sporadic. Just like this. Alright. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing over here. And when you do this, you can do it you know, where you just keep tapping so you're getting little speckles too. I like that look. Really, really like that look. And if you don't, I mean, you don't have to do this. You can actually stick to, you know, one of the ways too is just to do some contrasting dots in the center. Just lightly, so if you don't like this look, if it's too much for you, you know, feel free to leave it out or do your own version. But I like it, so I'm leaving it in. Alright, so I have that. The next thing I'm going to do, dip it into the yellow. I can even use the opposite end if I want. And then I'm just going to take it and just lightly put in some dots in the center of these, of these little buds. Now, they don't have to be the same because you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just do the same? I'm just doing it yellow so that it stands out a little bit more. If you want it to look like the colors of the center, then be my guest and make it look like the colors of the center. But I'm not worried about that. Alright, and then the last thing I'm going to do before I finish here, and you could put some more leaves on here, which I could, um, and I might do that, but I think right now it's really pretty, is I'm going to go into the white and then I'm just going to just sporadically tap down some white dots. Just to add a little more interest to this, since we're just really using one flower per se. 
I mean, these could simulate like that you've added baby's breath. I just fill it in a little bit more. I don't know why it's not. I mean, that's up to you. If you don't like all these dots, definitely leave them out. I just have found that I really like adding the interest with the dots. But if you're not a big dot person, then leave them out and go on. Consider yourself finished if you want. I think it's very pretty. I hope you do too. I hope you like this video. And we'll just do one more area here and we will be done. Don't want to get go too overboard with it, but I want it to be seen. All right. There we go. All right, so we're done. Very fun. Great, great little hobby. Get some stones together. They're great paperweights. They're awesome to add to flower pots uh, out in your garden, sitting on the shelf. If you get thin ones, you could even put them in a little uh, little frame holder, you know, however you know you want. But they're pretty. Anyways, hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that uh, button that's for you to subscribe and the notification bell. Before you leave, there's a share button underneath the video. Hit that share button. Share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would appreciate it. Again, thanks so much for taking time to view my video. If you want to stay and view some of my other videos, feel free to do so. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.